okay so welcome back to scores so now let's handle our products details page uh, in this video so first of all if i go to my chrome you can see that this is our home page and if i go to any product uh, you get here this url so we have to display all the details of the product in this page right so in this video i'm going to create the reducer and the action and then in my next video i will create the screen and display all the details of the product on its specific page all right so let's go back to our Visual Studio Code and first of all I'm going to go into my reducer, product reducer and I simply go to here and create here a new function so export cons product details product details reducer and we put in our state okay and then let's type here the product we have to wrap it inside the brackets because i want to set product to an empty object uh, in this state so the product by default will be an empty object in this state and then after that i put here the action okay and then type in here the switch statement in which I pass the condition which is action dot type that whatever type we pass in here like all products you can see that in this case this these are types so whatever the type matches we have to run that case right that is action dot type oops in that first of all again give here the default uh, the case that is return this state whatever in the state we're going to return that but for our first case uh, before that we have to go to our constants so constant for our constants and let's uh, put in here this is like product details product details and request okay and then I simply change here details then the success and then the fail you also have to select this one that is fail all right so i simply save it and let's actually copy the first one we go to the top and bring that and then the success and then the fail case all right so first of all we have to handle our first case that is case product detail request right so in the request i'm simply going to return the loading to true i want to set the loading to true all right and let's also put in here this spread the state whatever in the state and then loading to true all right and for our second case simply copy this one so product detail success and in this what i set here is i first of all set loading to false because our product is uh, fetched from the back end so that loading to false and also set the product to the action dot payload and we will pass in the product in the payload and for the third case that is product details fail i simply return here whatever in the state and then set also our error to null right and the end we also have to set the clear errors so I simply copy it and put in here all right so that is error if I go here oh that is column all right 
Okay, simply save it. We are done with our reduce or let's go to our store.js and let's bring in our product. details reducer and let's set here our product details so the product details reducer okay so we save it and now if i go to my the actions product actions and i simply define a function here so i'm going to simply copy this one copy and then put in here that is get product details all right and then we have to pass in the id of that product all right so pass in the id then we disable dispatch here first of all we have to import the constants this is so copy and then let's bring them in here so first of all we have here the um product product details request okay and then we send the uh, get request so slash api slash v1 slash product and then the id of that product all right so we will add here the id also change it to the tactics okay so api v1 product and then the id of that product and then in the dispatch this is the product uh, details uh, success and we pass in the data dot product all right and then for the error that is product detail fail and we'll pass in the payload our error so we save it and that's it if i go to my here um, Let's simply reload it. If I go to any product, go to the inspect. Let's go to the Redux. And we're going to state, you will see we have our product details here. That is an empty product object. Right? So we are now product details. Oh, the spelling is, the spelling is wrong here. Store.js. That is product details so we save it okay so in my next video i will create a separate component for the product details and display all the products uh, on on every specific page of the product all right so i will see you in the next video